once again, thank you. You're welcome. This is my Pay Your Gain Life chat. I do this the last Saturday of every month. So if this is your first time of joining us, thank you for joining us. I have a guest with me who I'll be introducing very soon. So I believe it's going to be a wonderful time. So our topic for today is increasing your value, increasing your value. And as we talk more into it, I'm sure we're going to understand how we can increase your value. So there are a couple of questions that we're going to be discussing and I believe today's chat is going to be a blessing to you. So feel free to share this. So yeah, I have a great guest with me today. Her name is Kate. She's going to introduce herself properly. But Kate, I just want to say you are welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. You are welcome to this live chat. So how are you doing today, Kate? I'm very well. It's, it's a privilege to be here with us today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice to have you here. Yeah. So what are you grateful for in this season? Oh, in this season, I'm just grateful to be alive. I'm mm. grateful for good health. I'm grateful for strength. Mm. And I am absolutely grateful for the opportunity to, to, to serve God and just add value to the kingdom of God. Because in this season, I, that's, that's what I, I want to do more, to help believers, really, especially those who are struggling to grow in their relationship with, with Christ. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. That is great. I like that. So you are actually the right spettings for this, for this occasion <laughs> right now because um, I believe a lot of people that are joining us and those that will watch us later on will be blessed by what you are going to be sharing because mm. I can see the excitement in you wanting to help people that need to grow. Yes. Yeah, so like you know, our topic today is increasing your value. Mm -hmm. Increasing your value. And by the way, Anyone that don't know me, my name is Ayum Ejiga, and I'm the visionaire for my Pain Your Game Ministries. So I'm happy to be hosting Kate on this chat today. So before we go into the conversation proper, can you tell us a bit about yourself, please, Kate? Okay. Well, first of all, I am a mother of, of three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two boys in Europe. And... I'm a, life, I'm a coach, a life and leadership coach, and I'm passionate about personal growth and development. That is something that I, I get up every day and I'm happy to do and to help others. I'm also a, 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 a volunteer at my church. I'm the workers' lead. I help coordinate the volunteers, the workers in the church. And also, I'm an, ex I'm an independent executive director with the Maxwell Leadership Certified Team and a peer teaching partner with the team where I mentor and guide new members uh, to get started right with the team and to just mm -hmm. forge a, a path um, to becoming a, a, an efficient and effective coach, speaker, and trainer. So that's, those are some of the things that I do. I am just a growth enthusiast, a lover of Jesus, and yeah, happy to be here. All right. Thank you so much. I know you're a very busy person from what you have said, and I know you have not said, oh, I don't <laughs> think you mentioned that you're an author because um, this is Kate's oh, book, The Growing Life. Me. I'm sure we'll talk more about it later. So <laughs> I'm sure there are many other things that she does that she has forgotten to tell us. But oh that's my God, that's, that, that's the one that you just caught me. You know, that's the one that I mean, I still omit a lot, but I am an author. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, I think I need to just get used to it. Really, yeah. after so after so much, so so many, well, a few years, I I should just be used to it that I'm an author. But I don't know. <laughs> Yes, all right, it's all right. I think uh, when you have your hands full, sometimes when they ask you, what do you do? You are thinking, which one should I tell them? <laughs> because there are so many things that you do. <laughs> and I know I, I fall into that sometimes. Sometimes people ask me, what do you do? And I'm thinking, when I keep quiet for a minute, I'm sure they're wondering, she doesn't know what she does. And I'm, I'm actually thinking, what should I say in this circumstance? Because... <laughs> 
there are many things that I do. And then um, I actually got to know Kate through the Maxwell leadership in which um, both of us are members. So yeah, thank you once yeah. again for joining us today. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's start with your book, The Growing Life. Okay. Why did you write the book? Oh, The Growing Life, this, this book is, it was birthed out of my desire to add value to people and see lives transformed through consistent and intentional growth. I, I, I noticed around me that a lot of people, a lot of friends, not just, not just my friends, but really close people were not growing. And at that time, there was a time in my life where I felt a bit isolated because I was so focused, I, I was so deep into developing myself, developing, uh, becoming a better version of me, that I realized that there, there, I was, there was a gap between, I was creating, I don't know if, I'm, I don't think I was intentionally creating it, but this gap was widening. So I, I thought to myself, I need to share with more people how to be, how to grow consistently, how to take small steps every day to become a better version of themselves, to get out of a state of stagnation and live more progressive and fulfilling lives. So I, I, was, I, I want to inspire people. I just want to help people. And those who are already growing, to let them know that they have a friend, they have a growth partner. I like to refer to myself as your growth partner because I, I want to partner with as many people as possible to grow, to improve themselves, to live more fulfilling and, and you know, happy lives. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow, that is good. That is good. So you have a, a very generous heart then because um, <laughs> you are not just growing yourself and you're not just thinking of yourself, but you want to carry as many others along that want to grow with you. So yeah, so yeah. I think I'm a growth partner to you because I'm very enthusiastic <laughs> about growth as well. And I'm right. sure with both of us to find our way into the Maxwell Leadership um, Group. Yeah. So that is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Our topic is increasing your value. And I believe you are going to tell us the link between value, uh, between increasing your value and the growing life as we move along. But when you think of a person's value, what comes to your mind? Yeah, the first thing that comes to my mind is their worth. Mm. Is their worth. And it's really their worth as they perceive it. Mm -hmm. And it's, powerful. it's really, it's their, so, something that is already inherent in themselves because I believe we are created good. We are created beautiful. The, the scripture says that we are wonderfully and beautifully made. Mm -hmm. And we have great value, great potential inside of us. So when I think of someone's value, it's their intri intrinsic value, their worth, what is already in them, how they were, they were created and formed. Mm. And it's really the way they perceive that. Wow, wow. That is very powerful in the sense that you say a person's value is their worth. And it's not just their worth, but the way they perceive the worth. So... I was like, I said, this is like um, in, my, in my church where my bishop is preaching and he says something powerful. They say, oh, this is an aha moment. This is a stiller <laughs> moment. So it's like, take your time and just think about this. Yeah. Mm. So that means it's possible for, for somebody not to even be aware of their worth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. I think that's it. That, that's really common. A lot of people are actually not aware of their, let me not say not aware. Mm. They know they are aware that they have worth, that they are valuable, but they, mm -hmm. they can't, they're they not conscious of it and they're not conscious of how valuable they are. Mm -hmm. yeah, so it's actually the consciousness of their value that they lack, mm -hmm. not really the fact that they have value. No, because once in a while, I mean, I've got to interact, I've interacted with a lot of people and sometimes it's like you come out of, um, it, it's like an in and out state where there's a moment where you know that, oh, wow, I'm okay, I'm valuable, I'm, 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 I'm big, I have potential. And then mm -hmm. there are moments where you just, oh, do I really matter? Mm -hmm. Do I count for anything? I mean, I, I'm worthless. And 
it depends on where you want to stay. And I believe that growing, personal growth and development really enhances that consciousness of mm -hmm. your worth. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Thank you for that. So why yeah. is a person's value important then? Why is like knowing your worth, being conscious of it, why is it important? Yeah, when you're conscious, when you're con def when you're def when you're conscious of your worth, mm. you would you you live you live more fully and you know that you have something to contribute. Because mm. if I, I have value, I have worth, that means I can give that worth. I can trade it in. You know, value is meant to be traded, right? So if I have something of value or oh, I'm valuable, and it means I can trade it for mm. something else i can i can interact i can i can be more i can show up better and i really can i can i can just be that person that i see myself to the world mm. add value to the world contribute to the world and make this space this this environment where we currently are a better place not just for for me not just for but for everybody else yeah so i think that's it's really important that we are conscious of that fact that okay, I mm. have worth, I have value, and mm. it's it's important, and it's something that I can trade it in, I can exchange, give it out to somebody else, and make yeah. their lives better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So that means for us to really fulfill our purpose here on earth, for us to make valuable contribution, we need to be conscious of our value. Yeah. Definitely, you know, you know, you, you can't, you really can't give what you don't have, right? Mm -hmm. Or what you can't give what you don't know you have, right? It's mm -hmm. what I know I have that I can give, because, like I said initially, we all have value. We have, we have worth. We are worthy, but mm -hmm. we're not all conscious of it. So when you are conscious of it and you know that, look, I have this, I have something I can give. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you can now go ahead and start giving. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. So let's come closer now to <laughs> what you are doing, your own life and what you are doing. Mm. So you've written the book, The Growing Life. So what is the connection between a growing life and a person's value? Yeah, I, you know, I believe that when you're conscious of, you, you can't grow when you don't, when you're not conscious of the fact that you need to grow. You need mm. to see value in yourself to add value to yourself. And Really, that, that's what we say, add value, right? That means mm -hmm. the value is already there. Mm -hmm. So, but you must be conscious. You must be aware that, look, I am worthy of growth. I am worthy. I, I have something. And all I need to do is to add to it, to increase it so that I can I can give more, so that I can be more and so that I can have more. So it, it's really important that we see value in ourselves so we can add mm -hmm. value to ourselves through personal growth and development. And, you know, that's why in the first chapter of my book, I, I talked about us believing that you are worthy of growth. Mm. If you don't believe you're worthy of adding value to yourself, if you don't believe you have value, it's, it's add value, right? So mm. if you don't believe or you're not conscious that you have value, you cannot add value to yourself. You're, yeah. you're just going to be living life like, you know, okay, let me just go through life. I'm just here to just, to the basics of living and you know and you know that and that sometimes we just get to go through this through the motions of of um existing mm -hmm. i would say existing I'm, I'm i'm careful about the word i use existing because mm -hmm. a lot of times we're we're merely existing we're just here but we're not we're not really living mm -hmm. we're not living you start living when you're conscious that look i have a contribution to make and I have I'm increasing and I'm I'm becoming more and adding value to the world around me and making a difference. Mm. And that consciousness gives us life. It helps us to live more fully. So you need to believe that you're worthy of growth. You need to believe that you have value so that you can mm. add value to yourself. Mm. And when you start adding value to yourself, mm. it's very difficult not to transmit it you now become like, like you know, what they say, electricity. You become like a magnet. So mm -hmm. you, you transmit it. So you're, mm -hmm. you're adding value and it's flowing. It's mm -hmm. flowing out. You just give what you have. 
So from what you have said now, you talk about adding value to yourself, mm -hmm. like the growing life. You, you first of all identify that you have some value, mm -hmm. and then you want to keep adding value to yeah. yourself to keep growing yourself. So mm -hmm. in other words, now we are saying that it's possible to increase your value, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Totally. okay. Yeah. 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 And that actually reminds me of um, a scripture, but maybe before I go into that, let me, let me even ask you like, um, you, 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 you are very enthusiastic about growth to the extent that you went and wrote a book about it and mm -hmm. you, you've been investing in yourself. So what have you done and what are you currently doing to increase your value? I know I may have said some of it, but when to hear it from your mouth, what have you done okay. and what are you currently doing to increase your value if value can be increased as we have agreed? Absolutely, value can be increased. Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing right now, in my growth is in, in different dimensions. I believe that there are different areas. We have different areas of our lives. Um, we need to invest in all those areas, not just one area. So mm -hmm. when we talk of growth, when we talk of personal growth, there are different areas. We have the physical and you know mental well-being that mm -hmm. you need to focus on. And you also have your financial well-being, how, how you make money, how you, you find, have that money flows in and out of you. Maybe we also have your spiritual growth or spiritual well-being. And we also have your business or career satisfaction. Then, of course, we need relationships with others and we need to invest in, in learning, meaningful learning and growth goals. So we, we need to have invest in all those areas. And right now, what I'm doing is to find alignment in all those areas because mm. I realize that it's not possible to find balance, but I can find alignment, meaning I can focus on one area for a particular period and increase in that area. Mm -hmm. Spiritually, I can take a moment and so go on a spiritual journey, you know, really increase my 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 well being and value in that area physically. And then it's always adding small steps to each of those areas to make sure that. I'm living fully and living wholly instead of just focusing on one area. Mm -hmm. Right now, the area I'm focusing on the most, most is my spiritual well-being. Okay. Yeah, because um every year I, I just kind of pray, I pray and I ask God to lead me to where I need to focus. Mm -hmm. okay. And this year, my goals, I have goals in all the different areas, but my focus is primary focus is on spiritual well-being this year. Okay, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Yeah, so that is what you are currently doing. Mm -hmm. And um, I know that your journey into the Maxwell leadership is part of what you did and what you are still doing to increase your value in terms of your personal development, your leadership yeah. development and all that, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when we're talking about increasing your value, living the growing life, I know I've I've I've, re I've read them. Um, I've not finished reading your book, but I think I've I've gone midway now in reading this book. Oh, you talk about like how growth we we cost us. There's yeah. a cost to growth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you want to say talk a bit about that? Like oh, in increasing your value, the cost some of the cost that you need to pay to increase our yeah. value. You know, growth. I said growth is growth is painful. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we think about it. Whether it's uh, for humans, for animals, plants, the process is is not it's not a smooth process, and it's always a painful process. Mm. Just think about how you 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 you're a mother. You got you got you got pregnant. That process of birthing, and then your children. You start seeing your children growing, falling, learning to walk, you know, first of all, crawling, learning to walk and all that. It's always painful. And when it comes to personal growth and development, let me bring it back to what that personal growth and development, it will cost you. It will also cost you time. It mm. will cost you uh, money, finances. It will cost you resources. Mm. It will cost you, it, it will really cost you some relationships, you know, 
So growth is it comes it comes at a price. It comes with sacrifice. Mm. Of course, if you want to look at all the activities we do to grow, like read books, you have to buy the books, right? Mm -hmm. As a Maxwell Leadership Certified Team Member, or as a coach, you have you need a coach. You, so you need to invest in coaching yourself. You need mentoring. You need to invest in mentoring and all those things, because mm. I believe that when we don't, where it's an investment, and with investments, you don't, you don't, no, there's no free investments, right? You mm. have to give something. You have mm. to pay to invest in. So investing in myself comes at a price. It costs me time. It costs me energy. Because there are days when I'm like, do I have to do this? <laughs> but I have to do it. <laughs> yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yesterday I had um I had two two mastermind two mastermind uh, sessions and a coaching session yesterday. Mm. So those are two, 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 three separate things. So, mm. and, and all those require preparation, right? Mm. I need to read, I need to study. I need to, you know, prepare myself mentally, get into that space where my, 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 I'm thinking, I'm thinking well, and I'm coordinated, I'm aligned. So mm. all those, those are that, that's the cost of growth, right? And also, I still need to I still need to invest time in sitting down and learning from others. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it's, it's not just about me giving, 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 but I need to also be filled. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's where we need to, especially let me let me just address coaches, consultants, trainers. We we read, we mm -hmm. invest in ourselves. Yes, for the purpose of giving out, for the but. but I think we need to come to that point where we just need to heal ourselves and just be filled for, for us. Mm. Just fill our tanks, just add value to ourselves for us, not just for the sake of, okay, um, I need to, I'm reading to go and deliver, I'm studying to go and deliver a program, deliver a session to workshop and all that for coach, but just so that I can just be me, I can be fully me, I can embrace my consciousness of my value just by learning and growing, just filling up. Yeah, and we, we don't really do enough of that. So it, it takes really an intentionality for us to do that. Yeah. yeah, thank you for sharing that because when we talk about increasing your value, I think if somebody is just filling up just for the purpose of giving out mm -hmm. that person is no i don't i don't really see that person as increasing their value because i believe when you increase your value you should be the first beneficiary of that increase in the sense that if you have like you have invested in yourself to learn mm -hmm. to make you a better person yeah you, like you talk about like um different ways that we can grow like in your relationship spiritually mm -hmm. In, like so in different areas financially in different areas that we grew if you take time to invest in yourself i believe okay let me use myself as an example if i take time to invest in myself i believe i'm the first person that should benefit from that investment because now because i'm learning about relationship i have better relationships because i'm learning about finances my finances is beginning to to grow because i'm learning about leadership even personal leadership I'm becoming more effective. I'm getting better results and all that. So, yeah. So, mm -hmm. I look at increasing your value as, yes, I, I agree with what you are saying. That when you are talking about increasing your value, look at yourself as the first beneficiary. And yeah. then other people around you are the offspring of that increase that you have increased yourself. Mm -hmm. And the scripture that comes to my mind is 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. Okay. There, the Bible says, in a large house, they are not only vessels of gold and silver, right. but also of wood and clay. It says some indeed are, are for honorable use, others are for common use. But if anyone cleanses himself of what is unfit, he will be a vessel of honor, mm -hmm. sanctified, useful to the master, and prepared for every good work. Yeah. So this scripture for me is just confirming all that we have been saying all that you have shared, that number one, is possible to increase your value. I'm looking at this large house now as, as the world, 
there are, there, are, there are all kinds of vessels. Mm -hmm. There are vessels of gold, silver. There are those of wood and clay. But the good thing is that we can choose to be the kind of vessel that we want to be. And what, what to talk about adding value to yourself, I believe that will help somebody to become a higher a vessel of higher value because we know that gold and silver are of higher value than wood and clay. Yeah, so just confirming what you said anyway. So yeah. what, I want to, uh, what I want to ask you now is that um, what painful experience have led to great growth in your life? Mm. At, when I think about it, let, let me mention the one I, I that, that is in my book the most. Mm. Yeah, for, for me, it, it was losing my dad suddenly when I was 13 years old. Mm. I can still remember vividly because at the time I had my my dad was a dreamer and he loved to read and he would put all these ideas and thoughts of the future and things that you're going to do who you're going to become. So when and be, being a straight A student at that time, I was really focused and loved to study and I knew that oh my my dad was so encouraging. He was always saying, you know, keep mm -hmm. going, keep your, be the best you. So when I lost my dad and I realized that, look, I can choose. I can choose to just be regretting, just laid back and say, okay, my dad is no longer here. My mm -hmm. dreams, my dreams are there, that I can die and I can just relax or I can still be strong, strong just work hard and still become the person that I want to be, keep dreaming. Mm. So I literally told myself then, I can remember vividly where and when, but look, I'm still going to be the best mm. in spite of it all. I'm going to work hard and be the best I can be. My, I made a commitment that my grades are not going to drop mm. and that I'm going to still remain focused. And, God helped me, really. So Praise God. I continued. Yeah, I continued. And my mom always says this. She says that mm. one thing, I've always been very focused and thinking about purpose. Mm. So my mom will always say, she, say, she tells me, even from childhood, I will go around annoying everyone, my siblings and all those, anyone I can find, annoying them with the question, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know then children playful that's not something mm -hmm. that a lot of children were thinking about you mm -hmm. know but it was constantly in my mind thinking oh, what do I want to be when I grow up mm -hmm. I, I had all these dreams of things that I want to achieve and who I want to be mm -hmm. yeah and I felt I, I thought everyone should be like that so I kept asking them, kept asking people, and it was sometimes very annoying because of the frequency of the question. And if you don't mm -hmm. give me a suitable answer, I'm not going to leave you. I'll come back and <laughs> come again and again. How can how can you not know mm -hmm. what you want to do when you grow up? That's yeah. so. So I I think it's it's something that we need to. So even growing up as a child, I made up my mind. I knew that look, I am made for more. I knew that I have value and I knew that look, I can be focused, I can work hard, I can be purposeful. And if mm -hmm. I stay focused, purposeful, and consistently increasing myself, I will really achieve my dreams. Yeah. So I think that's that that's something that um mm -hmm. we need to constantly be conscious of that look. Life gives you what you ask for, and that life gives you what you dream. If you dream and your dreams are, and you know that your dreams are valid and you don't just dream and stay and, and just stay with the dream or walk the dream, you will definitely achieve it. So, yeah, I, I think that, that also made my life a little bit more serious. <laughs> <Can you imagine? laughs> so right from a young age when you're already coaching and mentoring. Because that's yeah, the coaching yeah, well, I mean, so I don't know. So, so. Yeah, my, and of course, I don't even remember that my mom is when my mom tells me this and says, mm. ah, 
you've always been asking questions and that's the one that one particular question you've always been asking mm -hmm. and it really um uh, inspired my mom to be in, in her getting close to 70 and retiring mm -hmm. primarily due to ill, uh, Ill health you know not really as active as she want to be but she was inspired to start it to start farming you know, to, mm -hmm. to start a farm because I believe you need a purpose. You need something to, you need something to wake up to every day mm. so that you can have a reason. You, re you need that reason to live, something to hold on to, something that lights you up, that when you wake up in the morning, your 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 light, your light, your face lights up, your heart jumps, and you know, oh my God, there's something I need to do. There's something more. And I believe that when we keep having that, when we live like that with expectancy, we are going to live longer and we'll have we'll give back more and we'll contribute more to the world. So living with expectancy is really important. Having something to hold on to, a purpose to mm. hold on to is so important. And mm. yeah, so those wow. are really my thoughts. That's yeah, thank you. Thank you so thought. much for sharing that because that experience you had at the age of 13 when your dad died mm -hmm. and you did not allow it to stop you. That is very remarkable because yeah. There are a lot of people in the world right now that their dreams have been dashed because the person that they were looking up to to make the dream happen to, for them yeah. passed yeah. away. Mm -hmm. But from that very age, for you to just determine that no matter what it takes, I'm still going to, my grace are not going to drop. I'm yeah. still going to be who I, I, I believe God has um, destined me to be. Mm -hmm. And I know in your book, you talk about, um, is it, you talk about scars that we have yeah. as we yeah. grow yeah as well yeah so that means that as you choose to grow it's not going to be easy we we, we talked about that a bit earlier on mm -hmm. so you you had you, you talked about like your mom having a restaurant how you had yeah. to be helping with cooking and then yeah. like yeah so you, you you look at your hands i'm sure you see a, a bit of those cars but at the end of the day <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah so at the end of the day you just find that even though i have these cars but there was something I was aiming for. And those scars are just, they're just symbols of my, of my, of my victory, the things I needed to overcome for yeah. me to become who I am and who I'm still becoming. So just, oh, I'm just saying that just to add to what you have said, that in increasing our value, in mm. increasing your value for you that is watching us right now, it may be painful you may need to overcome. Not, not it may. It will be painful. Actually, it's not a may. It will be painful. Definitely. You will need you. You may encounter some scars, but at the end of the day, it's just like those scars are, are your are your 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 war stories that you tell later on. Yeah. These are the things I needed to overcome. I'm sure when you look at a general, a retired general from the army, there will be definitely one or two scars on their body. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you, oh, this war was when I fought, like in Nigeria, when I fought in the Biafra war. But this was when this was the gunshot I had, but it didn't kill me. It oh, inspired yeah. me to keep going. This one on my leg was when I went to, to for a peacekeeping in one country. So they always have stories, and those scars are their war stories. Because by the end of the mm -hmm. day, they didn't let it stop them. But rather, I believe every scar helps you and even pushes you to keep increasing your value. So yeah. for anyone that's watching us, we don't know what you may be going through. But just realize that whatever obstacle that is standing between you and your dream can, if you determine that that obstacle will not stop you, it will not mm -hmm. stop you. Mm -hmm. It can still inspire of you. If you're looking at it as an obstacle, turn it into an inspiration that will yeah. help you to keep moving forward to increase your value. So yeah, you talked to us about some of the painful experiences, a painful experience that you've had that have led to great growth in your life the death of your dad yes so what now keeps you what makes you to keep wanting to grow what is that inspiration that every day you wake up you still want to become a better you you still want to have more what is what is it that keep inspiring you yeah what what, what really pushes me out every day is is that i know that there are so many people in the world who need to know this they need to understand that look no matter what they are going through, they can become more. They mm. can they can have more and they can do more. 
So that's something that wakes me up in, uh, that really pushes me out of bed in the morning when I realize that, look, my life is not, is, is meant for something, not for me, but for others. Mm. And that through me, I can reach some, through me, others can benefit, others can live a better life. Mm. You know, others can be more, they can have more, they can do more. So that pushes me to go out and serve. And also, I know that it pleases God to see people people's lives transformed. Mm. That also, that's, that, that pushes me to go out and add value to people. I believe people have value, they have great value, but a lot of times they are not conscious of it. So the desire to serve, the desire to help those that are not conscious of it, to become conscious and to grow, grow in all those that are conscious, to grow in consciousness, mm. to increase. Yeah, that pushes me out every day to go out and serve. Mm. But sometimes it is hard. Sometimes mm. I look and then I get a message and oh, hey, this and, and of course I have to get up. To get mm. up with someone. Someone needs me. Someone needs my help, and some and God needs my help. Mm. Well, not in the sense that God cannot do it, but, but God mm. needs me to help. God wants. Let me not say God doesn't mm. need me. He wants mm. me to yeah. help. You know, to help others, to be mm. there for those that need need them. Need to, mm. Yeah, need me to be there. So that pushes me every day to add value to others, to grow, to improve myself. Yeah. Mm. And when you talk about adding value to others, what comes to my own mind is that, you know, when you're adding value to people, many times you see transformation happening in their life. Yeah. And for me, that transformation is an inspiration. Yes. You just see that the little that you are doing is making a difference in other people's life. Mm -hmm. For instance, somebody reads your book now and then the person comes back to you. Actually, if you don't have a copy of this book, just go to Amazon right now and grab a copy of it. The book is on Amazon. I ordered mine and I'm almost halfway through it. It's, it's a very interesting read. And I guarantee you that you will get a lot of nuggets that will be beneficial to you. Because as I'm reading, I'm also underlining. So I'm a growth junkie myself, but I'm still getting nuggets from reading this book. Yeah, so what I was just trying to say before I, <laughs> I got myself <laughs> disrupted <laughs> was like, um, like for instance, I'm an author as well. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that inspire me to keep increasing my value, to keep adding value to myself is the fact that I, I, I notice that when I give the little I have to people, I see the difference it makes in their life. Yeah. They, they come back to me and say, oh, I read your book. It was such a blessing. I say, really? Be, uh, like when I wrote, wrote my first book, it gave me comfort. I always tell people that I was very reluctant in writing that book. It took me so many years because I didn't just want to, I'm a private person. So I don't like sharing my stories openly like that. And I struggled. But to my own surprise, when the book was launched, then I was still living in Dublin. And like the following week, people started reaching out to me from different parts of the world. I was like, how did you get this? I was like, oh, my friend sent it to me. And they were now telling me their stories, how the book blended. Oh. oh, I pick your book. I can't drop it. And I was like, really? I didn't know that this book was going to help anybody. Mm -hmm. And that was actually what inspired me to, to continue to write. That, is, that was what inspired me to write my second book, my third book. And I believe many more books that I will write. That is what inspires mm -hmm. me because for somebody to pick it and it's making a difference in their life. It's a great inspiration. Mm -hmm. And for you that is watching us right now, I believe that is what God wants to do with your life. Because like Kate was saying, sometimes we don't see the value in ourselves. In fact, many times we don't see the value in ourselves. You look down on yourself. You play down on your experiences. You've gone through some valuable experience that can help others. But you look at yourself and say, ah, not people like me. If it's not people like you, then people like who will, will, will God be using? <laughs> because God will use anybody as long as you make yourself available. Mm -hmm. But yes, there's room for, for you to increase that value. You can increase that value, but you need to recognize the value that you have in yourself right now so that you can continue to increase your value. And you never know who your life will bless. You never know the, the, the impact of the value that you are adding to your life will mm -hmm. make in the life of another person. Many times mm -hmm. we don't know it. And when we begin to increase our value 
And then we begin to now give her that value that we are adding to ourselves. That is when you realize the impact that you are making. Yes, yeah, so I just mm -hmm. felt I should just chip that in. Definitely. That's yeah. all right. That's all right. Uh -huh. and, you oh. know, one of my mentors uh, say growth growth always growth happens in the in the subconscious. Mm. So yes, sometimes you may be maybe you're reading, you're attending programs, or maybe you're listening to us here and you're wondering, ah, does this really matter? Mm. But we learn, we, we learn and we grow subconsciously. We, we don't really know it until the situation comes. When we face adversity, when we face certain situations, that's when we know that and we're able to handle it positively. We're able to, something mm. comes out of us that we, we believe, oh, I didn't know I had the ability or the mm. capability to deal with this situation. But you found yourself, you dealt with it and you came out of it because you, you had been strengthened previously. Mm. Maybe you're not even conscious that, oh, this is why I was learning this thing. You, you did, we're not even conscious that you actually learned it but something happens mm. you're faced with the circumstances in the situation and you're able to overcome to scale it and to benefit from it and others benefits too so growth is, is something we, that's why taking small steps every day to improve ourselves is mm -hmm. so important no matter what read something every day mm. learn something every day listen to some an inspirational um, so it may be message or something every day make sure you do something every day to become better because growth mm. is happening and you're not even conscious of it that is true that is true that reminds me of um, a quote i can't remember the exact the way the quote is put exactly now but it's, it, it, it's something in the line of um yeah so <laughs> it's like life is in session and if you if you don't wake up it's like they will leave you behind because everybody is already like running Mm -hmm. So you need to also wake up and start doing something. And it's just an yeah. encouragement to know that everybody can grow. Everybody mm -hmm. can be better, a better version of themselves. Mm -hmm. Everybody can do something significant with their life. And that can only happen yeah. when we yeah. begin to commit to personal growth. Yeah. yeah. So because of our time, I think we'll just round up now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness. Look at the time. <laughs> time goes very fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm just enjoying this conversation, <laughs> but I don't want it to go <laughs> beyond the hour. So we're going to round up now. Oh, no. yeah, so what will be your final words to our viewers? I know you've said a lot already, but... Yeah, but my, my final words to uh, to whoever is listening is, um, or those that are going to listen to the recording of the video mm. later, is that no matter where you are in your life, you can be better. Mm. No matter where you find yourself or how low you think you find yourself, there is more in you than you think you already have. So you need to reach out and you know, take some steps every day to to grow, to increase in your to increase your value because you already have value. So throughout yeah. this conversation, we've been talking about adding value, adding value, adding value. It's just to add. You already have value, so you mm -hmm. need to add it. And the reason you need to add it is because what you have, you can have so much more. And like uh, you said, you will be the primary beneficiary of additional mm -hmm. value and all that around you will benefit. And at the end of the day, your mm -hmm. life is going to count for something other than just you existing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I no, I, I, I believe, I strongly believe that there's no one that, no, there's no one, no one wants to actually um, leave this world knowing that their life didn't count for something that they did mm -hmm. not, they didn't matter. Mm -hmm. So that consciousness is something that that we need we need our lives matter mm. we count for something but we need that consciousness and we need to grow in that consciousness so that we can be more fulfilled yeah thank you so much i like i like that concluding sentence that you made that our life count for something so we just need to be conscious of it and keep increasing that consciousness so if you forget everything that we have said today, and I know you will not forget, just remember this at every point as you go into the week, as you continue living for the rest of this year, for the rest of your life, that your life counts for something. Mm. Your life is important. Mm. You are precious in the eyes of God and you are precious in our eyes as well. So just realize that, that so you don't put yourself down. Your life counts for something. You have great value, but that value can also become greater. 
And that will happen by just taking little, little steps of learning something a little here, listening to something, putting into action what you are learning. Absolutely. And when you look back a few days, a few weeks, a few months later, you'll be amazed at how much value you have added to yourself. Mm -hmm. And when your value increases, and you now realize that your value has increased, even when, sometimes even when you don't even realize it, people now want to pay you more because they know what you are worth. So just know that you have value and you can add value to yourself. So we're going to be stopping now. And as we stop, I just want Kate to just say a word of prayer. We are people of faith and we believe that we have a part that we can play and we know that we can also get help from God. So I'm just going to ask Kate to just say a word of prayer for us, please. Okay. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for blessing us with your spirit. Thank you for your presence in our lives, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity to share with, with the world, with our friends, with, our, with, with everyone around us, what you have deposited within us. But I thank you for the consciousness of our value that you have given us. And Lord, we pray that as we as we go into the week, as we go into the, into the next month, we pray that this consciousness will continue to grow. Lord, help us to be assets to the world indeed to be to go out there and make a difference oh god because that's what you want us to do you want us to be more you want us to have more and you want us to do more lord we pray that you will help us you will give us the grace to be that to do that and to have that all that you have destined for us to be and that at the end of it all our lives will count for something and that we will matter we need a legacy when we are no longer here Thank you, Lord, for giving us that opportunity to make this world, this space, a better place than Amen. we met it. Thank Amen. you so much, Father. And bless you, bless this platform. Bless everyone that is going to listen to this um, podcast, this recording. And I pray, Lord, that from here, they will receive something that will help them to take a step and be more and have more and do more. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So before I let you go, I know I said that your book is on Amazon, but can you tell us any other place apart from Amazon, if if the book is on any other platforms you want to talk about this? So this is Kate's book, mm -hmm. The Growing Life. Yeah. So is there any yeah. other place you can get apart from Amazon? Or is just yeah, it, it's, it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. It's on Kobo Books. The, that's the e-book. Okay. It's on Kobo. So you can get the e-copy from Kobo Books. And if you're in Nigeria, you can get it from Seller. So okay. you get sellers, that's seller, S-E-L-A-R dot C-O. Yeah, you can get it from there and we'll ship it to you wherever you are in Nigeria. Okay, okay. All right. So once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate this time. I know you're a very busy person. So for you to have spent this time to be with us, I know that is because of that heart of adding value that um, have made you to come here today. So thank you so much and God bless you. And for all our, all our friends that have joined us today, thank you. And if this video has helped you or you know somebody that it will help, please share so that they also can be blessed. So we'll see you again next time. So stay blessed. Bye-bye.